Each year, cardiovascular disease causes an estimated 17 million deaths worldwide, accounting for one-third of all deaths worldwide. Cardiovascular disease is just a general term for conditions affecting the heart or blood vessels. Now, a new study published in the British Journal of Nutrition has found higher consumption of cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts and cabbage, is associated with less extensive blood vessel disease. The researchers found that women who ate more cruciferous vegetables had a lower chance of having extensive buildup of calcium on their aorta, a key marker for structural blood vessel disease. Blood vessel disease affects our arteries and veins and can reduce the flow of blood circulating around our body. This reduction in blood flow is likely due to the buildup of fatty calcium deposits on the inner walls of the blood vessels, such as the aorta. This buildup of fatty calcium deposits is the leading cause of having a stroke or heart attack. The lead researcher, Dr. Bleckenhorst, said there was something intriguing about cruciferous vegetables, which this study has revealed. In our previous studies, we identified those with a higher intake of these vegetables had a reduced risk of having a clinical cardiovascular disease event, such as a heart attack or stroke, but we weren't sure why. Our findings from this new study provides insight into the potential mechanisms involved. We have now found that older women consuming higher amounts of cruciferous vegetables every day have lower odds of having extensive calcification on their aorta. One particular constituent, found abundantly in cruciferous vegetables, is vitamin K, which may be involved in inhibiting the calcification process that occurs in our blood vessels. Those who consumed more than 45 grams of cruciferous vegetables every day, which is a quarter cup of steamed broccoli or half a cup of raw cabbage, were 46% less likely to have extensive buildup of calcium on their aorta in comparison to those consuming little to no cruciferous vegetables every day. This is a remarkable finding for such a small amount. But don't forget when eating steamed broccoli to chop it and then leave it for 45 minutes before cooking to get those all-important isothiocyanates. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.